Leo, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Merry, Merry Christmas. And for those of you who celebrate, happy Boxing Day and Merry Cosmic Christmas because this is the Capricorn New Moon and Solar Eclipse today. So this is a very good day for really relaxing and releasing, like let your life clean out. This is a hard reset time where we get to really just dump all of that stuff that we don't need and then we ask the universe for all those things that we do need so this is your cosmic christmas what do you want for the year ahead leo start planning now because this is when you write your intentions all right so we're going to start over here with the oracle reading um full oracle card spread i will eventually flip the camera so that you guys can see it and then we'll go um the link below is to the extended video video if you're interested I do a full tarot card spread to extend this reading and I do a romance reading for the next seven days. Leo, this is the Leo energy for the next seven days. Leo sun, Leo moon, Leo rising, wherever Leo influences your natal chart, you can plug in these energies for the next seven days. Remember, if it don't fit, don't squeeze it. Just let it go. That's what we all need to learn. All right, crowning your reading. Three cards came out and they're facing me. Time for a beginner mind. Trust the great mystery and use your mind wisely. So this is about being reborn after you've gone through some hard experiences. This is that wisdom. This is the kind of wisdom and the kind of new beginning that only people, you know, old school people can <laughs> understand. This is the kind of new beginning that you earn. It's not the kind of new beginning that you, you know, you're just born type of thing. Unless, unless you were born, just born today. And it's something about being reborn into a new life. But this is a, that kind of new life that you, it's, it's that new way of thinking, Leo, that you understand after you've been through the ringer. And I feel like there is this balancing point that you've come to, this calmness and relaxedness in yourself, a point where you don't need that many people's approval. You don't con need constant validation. You don't need constant attention. There's a tipping point here where you just grow out of all of those things your old self needed to make you feel valuable and you don't need those things anymore. This is a change. Like I'm literally feeling inside of me as I speak to you, this shift in how much you need validation from others and you don't need it anymore. This is a, a feeling of maybe this could be specifically, so this is your crowning energy. This is crowning the whole reading. So it could be applied in different ways, but this is about not needing validation anymore. Having learned, having learned from your past and become somebody different. So this is that new beginning you get after the old has ended and it's over with and it's past and that grieving is past and that um, fear has passed and the doubt has passed and, and there's just peace. There's just peace and there's calm and then there's the newness. It's coming in. It's coming your way. And a wonderful expression of this could be, you know, just, just having, finding over the next seven days, you're not missing your old spouse or you're not missing your old boyfriend or girlfriend or you're not missing your old home or the place that you used to live. You're not missing it anymore. You're just starting to settle into this new skin very nicely. Like this is a skin that fits. And the reason why it's skin that fits Leo is because it's because it's skin that you grew yourself. You know, it's a little bit thicker, maybe a little bit heavier, but it's comfortable. It feels right to you. And unlike you would have done in the past, you're not asking, hey, how does this look on me? Hey, who's paying attention to me? You don't care. There is this transcendence now of self, of self-worth, of knowing and understanding self-worth without having to require it be validated externally. So you could have just been getting over somebody for the first time this week. You're over the need of them. You find, wow, this is like the first weekend that I didn't like check to see if there was a, a message from them on my phone. Like, wow, I didn't even think about it because you were so invested in where you were headed. This is an earned wisdom, which is, the greatest, the greatest kind of wisdom. 
because nobody can take away from you something that you've learned. Learning is an earning that happens after letting go, right? Letting go of any preconceived notions, letting go of any prejudices, letting go of letting go of whatever you came into the room with and absorbing what you've actually experienced. This is a new you, Leo, a new you for a new year, diving in deep into what you can be sure of. This is also, use your mind wisely, when pigs fly, right? Um, diving in deep to something that seemed impossible. Being at a point in your life where you feel confident and competent enough to just go for it. Because it's not about, I think, I think this is that turning point where you've learned, you know, it really is not about the perfect moment or the perfect surroundings or even having resources. It's that this is the greatest resource of all. And that wherever I go, I'm ready because the wisdom and the knowing and the resources, they're inside me. So I'm not worried about it anymore. This is about taking a huge leap of faith and just diving in deep. It could be in so many different scenarios. Um, let's get into the reading because this was just your crowning energy. But there's this energy, it could be deciding to go ahead. And yes, I want to I want to be with this person. Um, deciding to move out of state. That was a real, contextually speaking, that was, that was a huge part of today's daily reading of, of moving, of, of making that move and understanding that, you know, um, I'll grow my wings on the way down because the truth is I already know how to fly, you know, and, and maybe, uh, or at least I'll know how I know how to glide and I'll glide until I fly and my wings will grow. It's almost like you have a confidence about you now. You've finally been able to release whatever was harming you and start over. You know that you carry your protection with you. You don't need anybody else's protection. So we get into give with gratitude and grace and clear out the clutter. Two suggestions for this, this beautiful, uh, beautiful suggestions for this new moon, Leo, is to clear out the clutter of your life by giving it to others, giving it to somebody who may need it, about learning how, um, about finding a use for those experiences that have been difficult to you by guiding others and giving others advice, by using it for something that can be helpful to other people, or literally collecting all of the extra junk you've collected over this year and being sure that you decide that you're gonna give it away. You give it away, you get it out of your house, you clear out the clutter so that, so that new things have the potential to come in. Now, Leo, I, I can't, you know, like I can't miss this. You are so primed right now for something new and beautiful to happen to you. And there's a sense of certainty that it's coming and that you deserve it. Let's keep up with the reading. Nice. Life is speeding up. You're on the move. There's no time for clutter. Be at home. You're on the move. You're not at home. Flipped upside down. You're going away. You're moving. You're moving. There, this may be an actual physical move or definitely a moving on. Letting go of something that once was so good for you. Right? But it's almost like it was so good for you. You once needed it. You don't need it anymore. It's time. Sometimes life stings. Yeah, there's going to be these pangs of release, these pangs of letting go, these pangs of regret, these pangs of sorrow. This is a little bit of nostalgia coming back. But the world is yours and the dangers of the world are yours. And I feel like that's what you're ready for. It's like going on great expeditions or exploring the world or, or deciding to not play it safe anymore. You are traveling, Leo. This is 100% the world card. Get your malaria shots. Get your infectious diseases shots because it's like you're going to someplace exotic. And if, if that could be literally, and I hope so because that sounds cool, or it could be metaphorical, Leo, in that you... 
or just deciding to go places that you've never been before and where you used to play it safe and want to stay very close to home, you don't want to stay very close to home anymore. This could also be a sense of something was lost, something at home was lost. Could have been you lost your home, you lost your spouse, something was lost. And so in order to make yourself feel better and let go, getting away is actually something that's going to help you. Be loyal to what you love. So this is definitely almost like quote unquote, taking your show on the road. It could be um, uh, the heartbreak of having to let somebody go and now meeting somebody new. And the reason why you're finally able to let the past go is because you realize there is no potential for that new thing to come into your life if that old is still there. So this is about maybe making a decision to let go or move or change your location because it just keeps reminding you of the pain and the hurt that you're, that you're so ready now to release and you have this inspiration away from you saying, hey, you know what? There's, there's a reason to start over, right? There's a whole new beginning somewhere else. Now you have Nightingale, love is all around. Leo. More and more and more, this is about romance. And I, I try, stay away from romance specific readings here. This is general reading, right? But there's so many opportunities. And I feel like for the first time in a long time, you may be actually smelling the roses, la vie rose, coming through, like music, hearing music, walking down the streets, that you, that you maybe it's, it's playing in your head, maybe it's playing in your heart. There's a romantic feeling toward this whole hazy, dreamy week and it has to do with the fact that you're ready and you don't need the certainty that you used to need because you are so much stronger. Wow. Miracles are endless and know your worth is the grounding energy for this reading. This is Taurus energy and this is why are you trying to be somebody you're not? And I think that at this point, you know that you're enough. You're not trying to be somebody that you're not anymore. You're like, you're not, you know, you're like, listen, I'm a skunk and I love flowers. I'm not hiding out here to try to hide my stink, right? My life is abundant. This is you recognizing how abundant you are, how abundant your life is. Really feeling in love with everything that you have in your life. But it's also about falling in love or having the potential to fall in love. Let me flip the camera around so that we can talk while you guys look at the cards. Hold on. All right, so let's go over these cards. This is actually a big reading. And honestly, Leo, this is the perfect night, this cosmic Christmas that we're celebrating with this Capricorn new moon. Leo, this is, this is the perfect mentality for you. You are leaving home. You're going away from the heart space. There was a disappointment somewhere at home, some sort of disappointment in somebody that you loved maybe a loss of somebody that you loved, uh, maybe a loss of a home. It's a major shakeup that still in some ways hurts, right? But you're loyal to what you love and what you love is loyal to you and you're seeing a future in it. And I think because of this break, because of this thing that hurt, you're now willing to move away. In fact, inspired to move away. There's emotion here. There's letting go of the old and rushing toward the new. I do see a potential for long distance travel. Like I said, there could be some sort of exotic trip that you guys are going on. Maybe with a companion that has been around in your life for quite some time, keeping you sane, keeping you feel loved, feel unconditional love. There's unconditional love in your life. You could very well be traveling toward it or it's coming toward you. Give with gratitude and grace. You're able, first of all, you're clearing out the clutter of your life. You're letting go of those things that are only hurting you. And by letting all of that go, you're actually being gracious with like all that stuff you don't need. Maybe somebody else could use. So you're giving, you're doing something charitable with the stuff that kind of serves as a reminder of pain. So you're turning your pain into progress, Leo. That's what you're doing. And it's working wonders for you because I honestly believe that maybe on this trip, on this traveling, you're going to meet somebody that loves you unconditionally or discover that somebody loves you unconditionally. This is definitely a somebody. It's not necessarily just you. There is unconditional love flying around you, Leo, coming into your life, realizing that you are the miracles. The abundance is overflowing when it comes to your understanding of your self-worth because it's not that old style self-worth that you had Leo of just expecting people to pay attention to you or 
kind of expecting expecting people to pay attention to you and then always looking why didn't they pay attention to me right this is like something that you never thought was possible you don't really care about public opinion anymore what you know is what you have and what you have is you and all that you've been through and this level up understanding of your own self so this is about being ready to relinquish release and let go and and all that is coming in for you because you're ready and i think that the reason why you're ready is because there's a little bit of hurt that is still going on there's there's a, a hurt that's almost still going on Maybe about a love that you thought was unconditional. This is Cancer energy. This is Gemini energy. I don't know if you're dealing with either one of those. Oh, sorry, Leo. But I don't, I don't see this person coming back to you. Hold on. Oh, sorry. I see them. I see you rushing away, like moving fast, moving away. Yeah, quickly going away from what was your norm, what was where you were secure and stable and taking some risks, despite the fact that it might be a little bit dangerous. Let's see where you're going. Let's see who you're going with. Um, I'll, I'm going to extend this reading and then we'll do the romance reading. The link is below. I'll see you there, Leo.